Now, uh, I suppose the Pax Americana is waning. And uh, one of the key merits of uh, the American system was its trade, its uh, financial trades and its mastery over the banks and the banking system in general, because we always uh, refer to the dollar. But why do we refer to a dollar? Because, well, uh, in the long run, we really don't care what kind of currency we use. It's just a meaning of exchange. Right? We have been using dollar for all this time because it was a stable currency. We believed in the supremacy of the law, in the supremacy of the institutions. And so we could always say that if they promise something, if the Western partners promise something, they will deliver on the promise. But uh, as we see right now, uh, the policy against uh, our country, against the Russian Federation, uh, opens up the eyes that the supremacy of the law might not always be uh, the key idea behind the policy of the country. In this slide, of course, we will see the um, diversification of international trade. At uh, right now, dollar, dollar dominates the global trade, but um, it dominates the global trade as a relict of the past, Pax Americana, as we witness right now. And as more countries uh, become sovereign, become wealthy, we will see them trading separately, trading independently. <laughs> Again, in this uh, long run, I suppose the United States one day will have to join other countries on this fair and equal trade. This is a very interesting part. Our country is just paving the way for the sovereignty in the long run for other countries countries, helping other countries, and uh, first and foremost, we promote equal partnership. And this is what we stand for. We will always be ready to sit at the round table. From 他得到了这样一种特权所以这个时候呢我们可能期望更多的选择包括多个的这样一个清算的系统包括多种的这个货币的选择包括电子货币数字货币也是一种这个全新的一种考量